All right, um, I don't know what video this is. I just seen it on my homepage. It's titled, The Streaming Arc Is Over. Just saying, y'all saying Yo, you just stop. Tell him stop. Tell him stop. Oh. What the fuck is that? What the oh. hell? Oh, yeah. Hit him with the rocket launcher. Hit that Hit that Can we kick him? Your rage, I got a special message for you. Why the fuck did you snap on me like this in that video? Bro, at the end of the day, I smack the fuck out, fuck out your ass, my boy. I'll look at you, get in your ass, get in your face, hold your hand, smack you, get in your fucking ass, and won't do shit about it. And I'll fuck with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this video is titled The Zesty Apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> She can't, she can't even talk. She need a glass of water after that. First of all, I live in Florida, so we can really get active. Nigga. Look at your ass. Come on, my stomach, bitch. Shut up. Come on, my stomach, Come on, my stomach, bitch. Bro, what the fuck is happening? Even the food I give you the itis, that shit is whack. What the fuck are you talking about? But your shit curved like this, so it's kind of different. What's it straight? No, it curved like this, so it's kind of different. How you know Kai? Did? I'm not talking about Kai's. Oh my god. I'm not talking about Kai's fucking boomerang penis, bro. Okay. That's okay. All right, bro. Look here. He's way, yeah. On this should be no debate about it. I don't give a fuck what trolls is in this bitch. Rage got to be the most AO nigga we know. Like as a community, bro. He got to be the most AO. It's and it's no contest, bro. I don't even think there's a close second. I'm be honest. <laughs> there's no close second, bro. Glisten. All right. This is a pretty good video. I like the production you're making. You know what I'm saying? Pretty good video. Okay, let's get back into the video. The oversaturation of the streaming community has to be the worst and best things that's happened to us in a long time. On one hand, it brought us, you know, streamers like Rio Rage, Pikeboy Max, Kaisena, etc. However, one thing it did do was make so many streamers like disingenuous and clout seeking. But before we do that, let's play today's paid promoted song. You arrested the wrong boy. He's been crazy, but look at this clip, bro. It just shows the ego of hell. You arrested the wrong dude, dog. Not Seventy-seven arrested. million dollars. It don't matter. You put arrested on me. Evaluation. You arrested me. You didn't believe me. You walked out of the room. I have it on video. Seventy thousand people yeah, saw it. They're already reporting you, dog. And the clout chasing in the streaming community is absolutely insane. It's like they try to like leech off of another big creator so badly. I know so many smaller creators that are so much better than these absolute bro then support them it's bro it's that simple it's that simple if you see a, a small content creator on youtube or on twitch that you fuck with just know it's hard for them because if they're especially if they're not doing it full time they're probably balancing shit then support them if if niggas actually supported the niggas they pretend to support as much as they pretend to support them they would be doing it full time actually support them bro is is that's so simple that's all you have to do you feel me and the reality is is there's probably hella niggas that you don't even know that you would like because you haven't even tried to explore type shit you feel me so like a lot of niggas will see this stream for the first time or they'll see another nigga stream for the first time and you, you ever have that thought chat when you're on youtube and you're like damn where the fuck this nigga been all my life why the hell wasn't this on my homepage sooner Feel me? We've all had that moment, bro. And when you get that nigga support them, bro, it's that simple, bro. So when niggas ask you to drop a like or a follow and no, like nobody does it, that's not really support, but it's not, you have no obligation to, but if you really want to see them win, like you think they deserve to win, then that's what you would do. Leeches. Like who's tuning into a Jack Doherty stream? I've never seen a Jack Doherty viewer in my life. Who the fuck is tapping into the Jack Doherty streams? Where where is this coming from? <laughs> Had the baby security guard punching that dude's fucking lights out, bro. <laughs> Motherfuckers were like, bro, we should have been ready for that shit. Like it wasn't the quickest combination ever. Bro said, Ass drop, remind me after this, remind me after this, remind me after this. Stop, don't stop, don't stop. I'm sorry, that like the way he went. What clip is this? Is this recent? Oh, fuck. And there's so many horrible streamers like Neon, bro. Oh my god. I want to see what the average Neon viewer looks like. Please, somebody, somebody show me. She can hear you, bro. Hey, hey, listen here, you or answer my question. How many bodies you got? Okay, chill, 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 chill. Holy sorry. shit, bro. Sorry, sorry. I, I apologize. I'm glad. All right. Can we kick him? But another thing I've been seeing a lot more lately on TikTok is the same, you know, top face cam, bottom stream, or like a Minecraft gameplay on the bottom, just over and over again, just copy and pasted. It. It's like everyone is just trying to become a streamer and like trying to trying to do some shit that other people have done and they don't even try to do it better. Like a prime example of this shit is the I show speed like apocalypse. <laughs> 
Who the fuck is this nigga, chat? Why is he? was terrible oh my god i gotta make a whole nother video on that that was like, William, that absolutely terrible also if you're streaming you unwatchable why are you streaming like i'm not gonna pull up clips because that's messed up but a lot of streamers who try to make it out now have like the worst mic camera and overall stream quality possible like why are you even trying to stream off oh an Xbox god. One or HP laptop with a CPU from 1987 in the first place? Oh my god! Honest, I say come join YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to edit. We'll get you straight. Unless you're really just trying to stream on an absolute shit box. Don't even come over here. There's dedication and persistence, and there's just throwing all your time into an endless sea of creators. And the motherfuckers who tell you to stream every day, even if you have zero viewers, are wrong. Mm. You can't just do Twitch and blow up anymore. Chat, Twitch chat. has zero options for. What are you supposed to do if you want to grow your Twitch? What are you supposed to do? What's the first thing you do? If you want to grow your Twitch, what's the first thing you do? All my niggas know. I'm glad all my niggas know. I'm glad all my niggas know. I'm glad all y'all know to not spend all your time streaming like a dumbass nigga. I'm glad y'all know, bro. Thank God. For discoverability, and they don't really push any like new streamers at all. If you're just sitting at zero viewers, you're going to stay at zero viewers. You know, instead of hating, though, you know, for however long this video is, I'm going to give you guys some tips. So... I'd say, you know, take up YouTube, TikTok, Discord, even get that promotion up. And once you build like all these platforms up at the same time, or even just one of them, you're going to start getting viewers. You're going to start building a fan base. Don't just try to like get that quick little TikTok fame, quick little like that shit is not going to work. And if you're going to do the TikTok clip thing, at least be funny. Like my name, OJ. Gadi, gadi, salah. Don't, don't start that. With which is I'm making a public caca. And boy, don't suck yourself and move up. Nobody know what the barbaric language around me. Nobody know. Or like Max. I don't know what the fuck I just see. Oh yeah, hit it with the rocket launcher. Hit that nigga. Hit that nigga. Like, there's this one guy that on um, clip? YouTube, that he's doing his shit very well. You know, sometimes his shit can be a little cringy. I think his name is Abdul up next or something. First person you must stay away from is the anime kid. And I'll tell you why. They skill set just a little different. You try to run the hands. Now they try to run the hands, feet, legs. You know the anime motherfuckers. They go roundhouse kick your ass. But his like, he has very good promotion. I mean, YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, he, he, I, he does it all. So, you know, I give that nigga props there. Another streamer I'm gonna have to give props is Yusuf. You know, Yusuf is doing his shit. I was gonna say, Yusuf is a great example of a nigga doing TikTok well. You know who's the best example of, of doing TikTok well, chat? Right now, in, 2020, in late 2023, Queso. That nigga, bro, that nigga Queso, bro, Queso took a TikTok audience and in under two months is one of the biggest streamers on Twitch. I think the only people above him now is really like Kai and Jinxie and maybe uh, SQC whenever the fuck that nigga decides to stream on. Bro, he, he is huge now and he did that all off the strength of TikTok. That nigga's genius. I feel like... Nigga, people don't give him enough credit. It was really genius. He's just a really great personality too. He been killing it. With the TikTok, I, I like. I swear, I've seen so many viral TikTok like use of clips. It's insane. Bro, it's not even that bad. Y'all gassing it. It's not that bad, bro. Y'all gassing it. It's not that bad, bro. It's huge, buddy. That's not fun. Another thing I like to touch on is female streamers. A lot of them do OnlyFans. Keep it a buck. A lot of them do OnlyFans. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Get your bag. Nobody, hey, nobody cares. Get your bag. But a thing that could be like very discouraging to a new like female streamer is the amount you have to like kind of sell your body and sell your face and have to be like super attractive. I haven't I haven't seen a like popular female streamer in a while that's like really popping off and really doing some crazy shit. Except for Connie. But even then, like Connie's bad as fuck. So it's like you can't really say she doesn't really use her body because she's bad as fuck. Like it's not. It's, she can't. She doesn't though. Just because she's bad as fuck doesn't mean she. Just, yo, just because you think she's bad as fuck doesn't mean she doesn't use. Bro, when you watch her streams, it's like it's like it's like it's like upper body. It's upper body, isn't it? She has an OF. Damn, bro. Everybody has an OF. I'm not gonna lie, chat. Yo, I don't know if this has been y'all experience. Everybody has an OF nowadays, bro. At least maybe 50% of the people. On Twitch, 50%. 50% have OFs. 50%. And that's just the nature of it, bro. That's just the nature of it. And you know why? 
because horny niggas won't stop paying for him, bro. Literally, that's the reason why horny niggas won't stop paying for him. It's that chat. It's like this. It's layups. It's layups, bro. If if chat to the niggas in the chat, imagine if bro. Never mind. I'm gonna say just if you knew your dick can make you thousands of dollars this month. A good percentage of y'all niggas would start using your dick to make thousands of dollars this month. There's just no economy for that because women aren't the horny. They're not. Women aren't gonna be horny and go on OnlyFans and start fucking dropping twenty five dollars to get sent videos like some hornball, lonely, depressed nigga, bro. Can't control it. You know what I'm saying? But also, it's the same thing with Jalan, agent's girlfriend. Whoa, chill. What the fuck? There's this other streamer. I think her name is Yuki or something. I'll put it up on the screen. Bro, except for Connie. But even then, like, Connie's bad as fuck. So it's like, you can't really say she doesn't really use her body because she's bad as fuck. Like, it's not, it's, she can't control it. You know what I'm saying? But also, it's the same thing with Jalan, agent's girlfriend. There's this other streamer. I think her name is Yuki or something. I'll put it up on the screen. Bro, she went viral on Twitter for some apps, like, maximum Giat level. I don't, I don't even mean to say it, like, corny. Like, telling you, like, her shit was thangin' thangin'. Like, her shit was, oh my, oh my God. Bro, chat, that's the celebrity seat it depends on what city you're in bro but these bitches go for like 20k plus that's the celebrity seat but you know it's november i gotta chill he also had an only fans and you know she does the eat eight shit like oh my god what did he say what did he, what, what the, what, hold on what was the point he was even making about jalan jalan definitely doesn't use her body what the fuck that's not what he was saying right but i didn't even talk about the eat eight shit after aiden ross like started wait what the fuck was that point what is he talking about Agent's girlfriend. There's this other streamer that's like really popping off and really doing some crazy shit. Except for Connie. But even then, like Connie's bad as fuck. So it's like you can't really say she doesn't really use her body because she's bad as fuck. Like it's not. It's, she can't control it. You know what I'm saying? But also it's the same thing with Jalan, agent's girlfriend. There's this other streamer. I think. Is he just saying? Oh, that she's popping off. Oh, okay. Oh, he didn't really make it clear. Or maybe I'm brain dead. One of the two. Okay, I was just... I was about to say, there's no way he's about to say she uses her fucking body for views. No chance. Also had an OnlyFans, and you know, she does the Eat 8 shit. Like, oh my God, I didn't even talk about the Eat 8 shit. After Aiden Ross, like, started that whole trend with the Eat 8, streaming has gone downhill, and the amount of absolutely horny weirdos has increased by a large <laughs> amount. Most up-and-coming underground streamers, now, like, though. who do this Eat 8 shit with, like, 30 viewers, it's always just cringe. Uh, check me, you want to turn on your camera for us? Here we go. But someone like Jason the Weenie, like he makes this shit actually funny. What's your preferred wiener size? Big. Just like an estimate. You feel me? Not, like, not, not for me or anything. She's about to say like, 10. Like, eight. Eight. I, you know, I'd support that nigga 100%. He's a very good influence. Like, I'd I say. I watching that nigga's like He's funny. Because he is, a, he is zesty. Sometimes he'd be like doing the, the funny, corny shit. It's, it's mad funny. I love you. He, he's a good streamer. I feel like that guy, he's definitely next up. Wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss my next post and have a good one. Bro, did I get clickbaited again? This video is fucking titled The Streaming Arc Is Over. No, bro. It's just getting started, bro. And it's only going to get worse if you hate the shit you're seeing right now. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Anytime niggas chat, I'm telling you how it works. Once the public discovers there's money in something, it gets worse. I'm telling you, I've seen it happen with YouTube, bro. I've seen YouTube be this wholesome thing that people just did out of love. Yeah, you made money on the thing. There were some millionaires made from it. And then people discovered you can make money from YouTube, and it just became worse. People started dropping all these fake pranks, just milking the system. And it's the same thing with streaming now that niggas think that this is the best way to make money. Is gonna be the same thing. TikTok, not necessarily because nobody makes money. <laughs> TikTok, you don't really make that kind of bread, bro. But I'm telling you, as soon as people see money in something, it gets worse. That's usually how that process goes. It's one, then the other. Feel me? But uh, it's not over, bro. I, I low key think it's just getting started. I also, yeah, I think it's just getting started.